students this is the fourth class of KSAR already we have seen three classes and in that we have seen two properties and the physico chemical properties they are hydrophobicity and electronic properties. So, in this class we are going to see the steric parameter coming under physico chemical properties. Here the bulk size and shape of the drug no that will influence how easily it can approach and interact with the binding site. If it is a bulky substituent that may act like a shield and hinder the ideal interaction between the drug and its binding site. Or we can say if it is a bulky substituent that may help to orientate a drug properly for maximum binding and increase the activity. While comparing with the hydrophobic and electronic properties the steric properties are more difficult to quantify. So, under steric properties we are going to see Taft steric factor, molar refractivity and the Verloeve steric parameter. So, first one is Taft steric factor. So, that is indicated by the symbol ES. The value of ES that can be obtained by comparing the rate of hydrolysis of substituted aliphatic ester against a standard ester under acidic condition. So, the formula for that is E is equal to log Kx minus log K0. The Kx node that represents the rate of hydrolysis of an aliphatic ester having the substituent X and K0 represents the rate of hydrolysis of reference ester. The substituents that can be studied by this method know they are restricted to those which interact sterically with the tetrahedral transition state of the reaction and not by the resonance or internal hydrogen bonding. For example, unsaturated substituents which are conjugated to the ester cannot be measured by this method. A main disadvantage is that they are a measure of intramolecular steric effect whereas the drugs interact with the target binding sites in an intermolecular manner. Next one is molar refractivity. So, that can be represented by MR and is a measure of the volume occupied by an atom or group of atoms and it can be obtained from the formula. MR equal to n square minus 1 divided by n square plus 2 into MW by D here n no that represents index of refraction and MW is the molecular weight and D is the density. The term MW by D no that is called the volume and n square minus 1 by n square plus 2 no that provides a correction factor. And this is particularly significant if the substituent has pi electrons or lone pair of electrons. Next is Verloeve steric parameter. It involves a computer program called Sterimol and calculate the steric substituent values from standard bond angles, van der Waals radii, bond length and the possible confirmations for the substituent. Unlike ES, this Verloeve steric parameter node they can be measured for any substituent. Other than these three properties, some other factors are there, they are called dipole moments, hydrogen bonding, confirmations and interatomic distances. Difficulties in quantifying these properties limit the use of these parameters. That is all about the physico-chemical properties coming under QSAR.